Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to continue the first lesson, how to find the solution set of two equations. We took before how to find it uh, graphically. Today we are going to find the solution set algebraically. The first method is the substitution method. We have two equations, 2x minus y equals 3 and x plus 2y equals 4. First, we are going to find one variable from the first equation or from the second equation. Look at the second equation. If we put x, if we want x, what you will do? x equal 4 minus 2y. Then you are going to substitute with this variable in the second equation. Let's substitute 2 times. Get out x and put 4 minus 2y. Minus y equals 3. So what did you do? You substitute. And you solve by only one variable and you cancel the other variable. Then 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times 2 equals negative 4y. And then negative y equals 3. So 8 minus 5y equals 3. Now you have only one equation with one variable so you can get y. y equals 1. After you find y, you have to substitute again in the first equation or any equation you want. If we will substitute in the third equation, so 4 minus 2 times 1 equals 2. Solution set must be in order bare and between braces. x equals 2 and y equals 1. Another example, 3x plus 2y equals 4, x minus 3y equals 5. We said before we want x or y. Let's get x. So x equals 5 plus 3y. Substitute in the other equation. Get x and substitute with 5 plus 3y. Then find the value of y. It will be negative 1. After that, what we are going to do? Substitute by y and get x. Get x. x equals 2. So the solution set is 2 and negative 1. This is the first method, the substitution method. Substitute means I am going to substitute one variable by the other. The second method is omitting method. That means that I am going to omit one of the variable. Like what? If I have 2x and I want to cancel 2x, what I'm going to do? Negative 2x. If I have 3y and I want to cancel 3y, what I'm going to do? Negative 3y. You have here 2x minus y equals 3, x plus 2y equals 4. Put them. If you want to cancel here, you have 2x and you have x. You want to cancel one of them. What you are going to do, you can multiply the second equation by negative 2. So you are going to cancel 2x with negative 2x. If you want to cancel y, you have here 2y. So you are going to cancel, you are going to multiply by negative 2 to uh, cancel 2y two with negative 2y. But here you have negative y, only multiply by 2. 2 times 2, take care, you are going to multiply all of the equation. 2 by 2x equals 4x. 2 times negative y equals negative 2y. And 2 times 3 equals 6. Look, 2y, negative 2y, omit or cancel. Then add the two equations, x and 4x equals 5x, 4 plus 6 equals 10. Now you get x equals 2. You can also substitute in any equation you want and find what? y. When you substitute, it will be y equals 1. Don't forget to find the solution set. It will be 2 and 1. Look at this example by the omitting and in the first example, the two examples are the same and the solution set are the same. So if you want to find the solution set by substitution or by omitting, you will find the same answer. Number B, 3x plus 4 equals, 3x plus y, sorry, equals 4, 6x plus 2y equals 3. I want to omit y, so I will multiply y by what? Here you have 2, so you will multiply by negative 2. When you multiply all of the equation, you will find that all of the 
variable are cancelled. 6x and negative 6x equal all of this cancelled, all of the left hand side. 3 and negative 5 give you what? Neg 3 and negative 8 give you what? Negative 5. Is 0 equals negative 5? No. So what does that mean? That means that you don't have a solution set. That means that the two equation or the two straight lines are parallel and that means that the solution set is phi. Okay? We can write phi between two braces or you can write it like that. The last one, you have 3x plus 2y equals 6 and y equals 3 minus 3 over 2x. When you want to substitute first, you are going to cancel 2 in the denominator, so you are going to multiply all of the equation time 2. 2y equals 6 minus 3x. Put it in the form x plus y equal the number. Put it in this form. So you have 3x plus 2y equals 6 and the other one is negative 3x minus 2y equals negative 6. The two equations are not the same and they want to cancel. If you want to cancel, you are going to multiply the first equation by negative 1. When you multiply by negative 1, look at the two equations, all of the number and the variable are cancelled. So 0 equals 0. That means, this is right, 0 equals 0. That means what? That means that the solution set or the two straight lines are coincident. So the solution set is infinite number of solution set and before we say it, if you want to write the solution set between two brackets x, y, such that y and write the equation 3 minus 3 over 2x and put them between braces. Okay? Your homework is page 9 and 10 in your booklet. Thank you for your listening.